Oh my god! Get these 130 pound boots! Oh, it's muddy. Oh, I shouldn't be out with my expensive boots. Right, okay, well, what's happening? Well, I uh, started polishing the Granada this morning. For Granada, that I have. Those of you that are regularly watching my videos will know that I mention it regularly. And guess what? It started raining. It's a bannock burn. <coughs> and... Checked out the blue car, the Citroen C3, there's a rattle coming from it. And it's coming from the steering rack. So I jacked that up this morning. Had a poke around with the wheel, took the wheel off. And then discovered we've got a rattle. A rattle, rattle, rattle. Uh, What else is going on? What else? Had a supersonic walk around Gartmorn Dam yesterday. Oh, I managed to get myself restricted on <coughs> Facebook for two days. Uh, oh. um, which means I can't Post, I can't comment on groups, which means I can't sell anything, but that's good because I was getting fed up with Facebook anyway. I have been slowly getting fed up with Facebook. Uh, so it was, um, right, this is what I said. I said 10 years ago, or eight, or whatever, 2000, it was over three years ago, that Dutch people are weird. So that's a hate crime. <laughs> so I reposted it the other day without thinking about it. Twice that's happened to me. Yeah, is it really hateful? Well, weird, it's not exactly, you know, weird is weird. So it's identifying a, you know, a, well, Dutch, what's that mean? Holland, Netherlands, Holland really, doesn't it? So the, the whole point of this is, this, this is irrelevant, it doesn't really matter to me, I don't care. But, you, you know, Accepting this, this is how corporations can switch you off. Can you imagine if I was relying, say like on Facebook to sell stuff, and I was needing money, and I was waiting to post something that I'd, I'd prepared for sale. I wouldn't be able to do it for two days. Uh, I don't believe I'm a particularly hateful person. I, I, I say the occasional what I think is funny in it. You know. So, there, that's... So the whole point is that so I would advise people not to buy electric cars. <laughs> and you say, well, what's that got to do with it? Well, because they can switch it off. They're introducing... Don't get involved with that crap. Stay away from it. Say no. I mean, Elon Musk took... Took over Twitter. I'll tell you what happened yesterday. I got abused yesterday by somebody on YouTube. And then, it was a, what I felt was a hateful comment about transgender, or my, or me. And you know what I did? I just chucked them off the channel. Didn't even answer it or speak about it. I just removed them from the channel. No arguments, none. Hurt my feelings, so bye bye. There's no excuse for being abused when you've got these facilities. I don't want to talk about that particular topic really. If I do, I might talk about it, but I don't want to. It's a, it's a horrible thing actually, and it, 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 all I would say to anyone is, 
Just be respectful, people. It doesn't mean you have to accept. It doesn't mean you have to be bullied either by them. You know? So you don't have to, to like conform to an ideology or, or a belief system. You don't have to. Um, you can ignore it. But you, you, I think I believe you, we all have to be courteous to other people, and we can't be abusive towards them. So, so I've just contradicted myself there. Uh, Dutch people are weird. Uh, hmm. See, that's a hypocrisy on my part. Uh, is it a big problem? No, it's not a big problem. Right, generally I come up here and I usually wait for a train. Uh, so how long? And what I'm going to do, and the train comes, we're then going to go down to that roundabout, walk round it and I'm going home for my dinner. There's that tree I was talking to the other day. Hiya, how you doing today? There's a train. Didn't have to wait long. Right, time to go back down. Is that a bike or a car? Bike. And then... Um... <laughs> and I'm, I suppose, I'm sensitive as well, you know, but everybody is, but... I got myself in a situation that I can't really get out of, so I don't really want to go and argue about it on YouTube or, or Facebook or something. Uh, I've got to live with it. So there's one thing about being funny and having a laugh, but there is a, a line that you cross. And I think, to be fair, I've probably done it. And I try not to. There's a certain element of addiction as well, I would say, with YouTube and Facebook, uh, like being addicted to, you know, doing these activities, which you know you can't like you can't stay off away from your phone, you can't stay away from the computer, you know, you're constant, constantly doing all these things, you know. And we're all, we're all kind of heading that way, I suppose. Most people, how can you really avoid the internet? A Volkswagen T4! Wow! There's another train. So it's like, um. <coughs> well, what else is going on with me? <clears throat> right, so I started posting the Granada this morning. I've and it, I got the boot lid and that done and then I went into the house at dinner time to check my phone and it's I came out for a walk and now it's raining well it was raining, it was stopped and um, so I've got to go out and collect a lot of stuff this afternoon so I'm going home now uh, going home I'm going, we're all going home. It's getting worse out here because of the bloody, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, the nettles, they really are coming on. Jeez. Oh, I can't walk along there. I usually walk along there, look what's happened. I usually walk along around there, but not today. Jesus. This is getting grim. The nettles. So I have to climb up here. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm falling these nettles. Oh, I'm in trouble. Ah. And these brambles. Ah. Jesus, why did I do this? 
Oh shit. Why? Why did I do it? Oh, look at that cloud. Uh, that cloud looks amazing, that big grey cloud. Uh, right, so we're this side of the sign. Yeah. Normally I go out the other side of the sign, but because of the nettles, it's a no. And look, we got a tin. We got our first tin. Cleaning up the streets. There's another tin there. Another one. Traffic coming. Traffic. Traffic, traffic, traffic. Traffic, there's loads of traffic. How am I going to get that tin? Jesus, fuck me, it run down. Oh, yes, we'll get after this van. We'll get it in a minute. Right, now I'm getting the tin. I'll crush this other one. That was that. See that? Way hey. The bag. I'm doing a community service here. I'm not I'm not doing I'm, I'm not doing community service. Because otherwise I'd be wearing a high vis jacket. So whoever drank that iron brew and chucked out the window of their vehicle is a total numbnut moron. I've just picked it up for you, you fucking arse. Train! Train, train, train. There's another one. Coca-Cola this time. Uh, busy, busy, busy. Get it after this car. This one. There's a maniac on the road! Oh. Time to get out of here. I'm backing off. What the hell's that? Uh, it's plastic off a light or something. There's a wee path here. Do you think it's me that's causing that path? That's the correct way to go around that roundabout. Oh, look at a Volkswagen T4, like mine, but it's got a tailgate, so it's not like mine. Short wheelbase. Is that a short wheelbase? No, it's a long wheelbase. But it's got a uh, tailgate rather than barn doors. My one's got a uh, barn doors. Some idiot has been here having a beverage, a Stella Artois. I seriously wonder. You know, I know that you might say, oh, well, they're just passengers. But I seriously wonder that there must be alcoholics driving trucks and stuff. Must be. It's all getting nettly. It's making my job difficult. It's getting worse. Off. Correct indication. Well done, Van. Well done. Ugh. It's all looking a bit busy. Right, we need to get up over this. It's getting too overgrown here. 
to normally I walk over there but not today. So we're not gonna do I'm not gonna wait here very long. But I might I might actually video up through the wood. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? So the government's going to switch it, well not the government, so it's the cor corporations, the corporations, Direct Slating Supplies Limited. Direct Slating Supplies. What's this one coming in a bus? A double decker bus. Tough nose. Tires direct. <sighs> yeah. Oh, look! Yes! The British flag out there, King Charles. Very, very good. Oh, yes, I like that. Real Britannia. Yes. I think we'll wear. Uh... Oh, I like that, like. For the party or something. I wonder if that dog's going to jump out of me. The state of that. All the weeds are growing. So I wonder if there's another path up there. Uh, because it was. Is there another path? Because I noticed a path up that hill, but I don't know where it comes out. Uh, maybe it just goes like across the top. So, oh, there, 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 there. Is this it here? Ah, right. So maybe this will take me up to the top of this hill. I'd say it's probably less used so it might not be used so frequently so it could be rough is what I'm trying to get on about if you like this video please remember to give it the big thumbs up if you don't like it well you know what you can do Bluebells, so that'll be why they call this the Bluebell Wood. <laughs> that dog barks like fucked in there. I don't know if um, I didn't quite go around that far, but normally he barks. I was at, I went around the other day and he didn't he barked at somebody and but didn't bark at me. I was wondering if my new boots were red quiet. <laughs> Don't think so. Right. Ah, now I know where I am. It's a bit tricky. A bit slippy. Okay, that's beautiful, isn't it? That's the roundabout there. Jesus, this is pretty grim. So I like exploring, I suppose, isn't it? That's the way I normally come up up there. Ah, look how lovely it is. Look how beautiful the wood is. And the noises. 
the birds. Shut up! Draw! Interesting. Maybe it's a conceptual art piece. Oh, I, I went... Right, there was this thing on, it was the art... Some, see, what happened, like the art group... What is it? Creative Scotland or... All these art places, they're, they have been... Gradually over the last few years, they've been... Um, how would you say? Occupied. Well, really, the phrase, you've got to follow the money, is the phrase to explain it. Uh, but they're, they're very left-wing. So, it was, so this is like an art establishment in Edinburgh. I can't remember what it was called. It might be called Creative Scotland or something, maybe, or what. But they were celebrating, like, a woman that was playing football. And how, it was just such a weird thing. So what they were saying was, they, they, they are fighting for true equality right so, so because all these women were going yes it's fantastic and of course ah like the person I am disagreed and so, so basically what they are fighting for isn't equal you know so they're calling it equality but it's not equal so what they're saying is we demand the right, to, you know, to play football. And it, of course the reality is that, that women, well, sport, you've got to ask yourself, why, why is there different sports? Why is there male sports and female sports? The transgender thing shows this up for what it is. And 99% of people would disagree with me. But they are all wrong. Because... Equality should be that everybody's got the opportunity, you know, to to get stuck in a wood by a tree that's fallen over. Uh, what the fuck? So, so because the, the reality is that, that men are better at the majority of sports than women, right? And that's because of the... So there's a fundamental misunderstanding of sport, in the first instance, that sport is fighting, but with rules. That's kind of what sport is. And that's why men are good at it, because, because they're physically built for it. Because women aren't. Women are built for children. So what they were saying was that they're campaigning for equality, but they're actually campaigning for inequality, so I pointed it out. And I think I've been thrown out of the, you know, <laughs> and this is just, you can't, but you know what, I don't want nothing to do with their shit. I want to do my own art. I don't want to, um, it's kids. I don't want to get involved. Um. I didn't want to film kids, obviously. You don't know what could be accused then. So, they got it I believe that, that sport should be equal. Or if it is segregated, don't, don't say it's, don't call it equality to segregate it. It's such a weird one to get your head around. So, what if, what it really means is, is feminism is based upon outcome. So it's like communism for women. Instead of saying, you know, women are good at certain things and men are good at certain things, because if you take it in a group status, there's always overlapping, cir overlapping circles, you know. But the trans thing... Uh, kind of shows it up for what it is 
when you get these like six foot six swimmer or something going on going on to women swimming and fucking tanking them, you know. And on a personal note, I don't really care. I'm not really into sports, so the only thing I'm good at is chess. And I don't think you could really say or art is the thing I'm good at. I don't think you can really say that's based on sex. Maybe you could, I, I don't know. Because I believe the intelligence levels between males and females is the same. Um, there's no... You know, it's not like males are more intelligent or females are more intelligent. They're, they're the same. So but males are physically bigger. And they have a different layout. Different pelvic situation and all that. So, I just... I think a lot of these... So, that, you know, the, the ironic thing about this is why am I arguing with people that this is an art group? You know? It's like, what? So that's how the political agenda from corporations... So the corporations, they want women enslaved. And the reason is they want everybody enslaved. So the corporations want you to buy their crap. And that's why women have to work because they shouldn't have to work Should, if, but I suppose a lot of it's about choice so I, I fundamentally believe that that art organisation is wrong and it's not unusual and it's typical um, they are bullying people like me don't agree, agree with them and I get probably shut down or have a legitimate opinion uh, and I, I don't think it's going to end well anyway for anyone because we're all going to be slaves anyway so I think it's that thing where you you should you should fight or climb up the hierarchy so you shouldn't be fighting with somebody with different skin colour or different sex different ability you should be fighting up the way to because when you get to the top of the hierarchy these things don't matter you know, so they're just laughing at the idiots fighting over shit. So I believe it's fundamentally wrong, and equality is unequal, and it should be. So I'm actually arguing. So they're saying we need to be able to win at football, and the reason that the, the women's football is not—I mean, it's been sort of promoted and encouraged, but. I don't, I don't actually care about football anyway. I don't like football. Uh, so, I suppose I've ruined this walk talking about that crap. I have, haven't I? I really do apologise. Nearly at the end. Nearly. Nearly, nearly. So, don't fall for that crap. Don't listen to it. Treat people equally. Treat people with respect. But you don't have to agree with their nonsense, is my opinion. And I try not to shove my nonsense down. I don't like that phrase, down somebody's throat, because it sounds weird. Aha! Uh -huh. We have a, guard a couple of gardeners. So. Uh, I can smell the grass. So, thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Bye.